A stunning report from Project Baltimore showing the situation in some Baltimore City schools is dire. Now, usually our Project Baltimore report comes in a little later on our newscast, but tonight we need to bring your attention to this report. It's because it shows 23 city schools have zero students who tested proficient on the state math exam. 2000. So remember, I did a video a few years ago. Remember, it was 13. Remember? Yes, yeah, 13 um, schools where they didn't have any students proficient in math. Zero. Now it's 23. So well, it's you can only worse. go up from here, maybe? <laughs> it's gotten worse in like five years, man. But how, wow. how could it have gotten any They can't back? get one Oriental Exchange student? Not to go to that school? Hell no. They wouldn't go there. Could you imagine being an Oriental school? No, it'd be a Listen. fucking rotisserie chicken every day. <laughs> you know, Dead, they would kill you. Duck. Yo, listen. The the bullying. It's this story I might get to. This white girl, some sisters forced her to commit suicide up in New Jersey. But like, it's like, no, there's gonna be no tiger exchange through the any of these schools. Um, they test out of those schools. Like you, if if they test you in Baltimore. So if you're a tiger, you, you, you they're gonna you're gonna automatically test to one of the magnet schools. Or one of the, you know what I'm saying? You, they never get to one. A stunning report from Project Baltimore showing the situation in some Baltimore City schools is dire. Now, usually our Project Baltimore report comes in a little later on our newscast, but tonight we need to bring your attention to this report. It's because it shows 23 city schools have zero students who tested proficient on the state math exam. 2,000 students in total took this math test at these schools, and not one did math at a great... 2,000 students. Well, cause oh, that's because math is racist. Didn't you know that? Hold on. But they, well, they can't count though, gingers. Seriously, though, that's impossible. That, that That's almost statistically impossible to have two. I promise you, if you gave that same test to 2,000 orangutans, one would scribble on the right fucking, because these are A, A B, C, D um, tests. Abba, yeah, yeah, exactly. One of those orangutans would pass that test just by accident. How do two? How do you go zero for two thousand? I mean, men, they, we're talking about not even. We're talking about at your grade level. So I don't know how many different grade levels they give it, either. You know, I'm that's crazy. That, though. I'm willing to bet the overwhelming majority of those kids um, didn't even try. Yeah, but but that's my point. Like, even if you don't try, one person out of two, because two thousand is a huge number. If it would have been twenty or two hundred, maybe you could go over twenty. Maybe you could go over two hundred. It's really, 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 really hard to go over two thousand. It's just, it's just so hard, man. No, man, that's, that does seem completely impossible for real. <laughs> that's a lot of fucking opportunities. Um, and it's the kids that go, it's all of the kids. Like, it's, it's just, some, it's, I find it staggering, man. It's a loot to those kids in Baltimore to have gone over 2,000. You know, they spend more money per student in these public schools than it costs you, uh, an individual to send a kid to a private school. Yeah. Grade level. Listen to those numbers. That's Where incredible. is the bell ringing for some type of like crisis moment? I, my God. This isn't a red oh siren. I don't know what is to say this isn't working. We need to completely redo this. Fox 45 News is demanding answers about that report from state and local leaders. Our team coverage begins with Project Baltimore and a mother calling on someone to fix city schools. As Chris Paps explains, his mother says major changes need to happen now or she's leaving. Nothing up there. Going where? Nothing. 
They go there to get babysit for eight hours and come home. Nichelle Watkins is exhausted. I feel like they don't care. It's not their children. They don't care. After years of pleading for help. Yeah, but she could do some tutoring on the side. Like, just having them sit down and do math problems. Because they're not doing calculus on this test. The standardized test that all 2000 failed, it's not calculus. Really, they're not doing any advanced math. Oh, it's 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 addition, subtraction. Maybe the highest thing you have on there may be a fraction, like beginner fractions, beginner decimals, but uh, not a crazy. lot of that stuff. It probably not even maybe a little bit. Why x x equals you know like if if if, if x if if x plus y if, if x plus ten equals twenty, then what is x like? Maybe that, but not no heavy duty like shit like that. They're failing like they're failing a test that like you know a, a, a most kids, most glider and tiger kids would third graders could pass. You know what though, Ock? If if they had a teacher just sit there and explain the math to them like it was money, the motherfuckers would pass that test. No, they wouldn't because they you tried. You think it. so? No, no, no. I, I know, I know teachers, and I and I'm, 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 both my parents are teachers. My stepfather was a teacher in DC public school for, for 25 years. He retired. He taught at some of the worst schools in DC public schools. Um, I was a student in DC public schools. Um, I, I, all my friends were. They try everything, man. They try to make it fun. They try to make it rap songs. They try to. Everything like if you think you come up with something new, just like they they were doing that back in the nineties, trying to um, make it um, uh, okay. Um, Hip hop, one plus two equals. If 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 Tyrone, you know, has two bags of crack and he sells it to T, then what is X is T? They tried. They tried everything. They try to make fun. Try to make it like, um, goddamn. Um, there's, there's a, there's a silver lining to all this because they're not going to be able to become, uh, become drug dealers because I think you have to know at least some math to do drug to, to deal drugs. No, and make no, money. the problem starts right as soon as they start school and kindergarten, and that's when the discipline starts for studying and things like that. See, these kids never get any of that, and they don't. It's not reinforced at home. So they're passed along these skills that they're testing for for this math test. They're supposed to have known these skills and gather that knowledge as they progressed in school. These kids are just passed along from grade to grade. And like the mother can sit here and blame the school teachers and the schools, but the real blame is at the home. Because when that kid brings that report card home, that's your job as a parent to see, hey, my son is not learning this. He's not learning that. And if you, like, I understand, she probably can't afford to move to a better neighborhood or to go to a better school. And then that's when you as a parent have to step up. Oh, that's real. And so it by is. the time this kids, kids are taking this test, that they have no study skills. They have no learning skills. They, it's a no-win situation. I don't know how you can fix this. Yeah, this is unfixable. This, this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, there's no way to fix this. This is something that you can only like kind of you can try to do maybe get five hundred of I think if five hundred of them out of two thousand could do math at their grade level, that would be amazing, man. But if when you're talking about fix, I think you're talking about like uh most of them being good at no, that that's not going to happen. And not only that, you know, you're talking about large segments of people that are not going to be fit to work in a work environment. Because, see, people think that school and work and all that's separate. No, no, no. Those focusing skills and task learning skills that you put into studying for school, those things carry on into the work environment as well. And that's why you have the people like the squeegee boys, the prostitutes on the street, the drug dealers. They don't have any discipline to hold a real job. They can't even open up a sit down for an hour and sit there and read and study. 
Yeah, let me let me move along. I feel like they don't care. It's not their children. They don't care. After years of pleading for help from Baltimore City Public Schools. Look around. I'm in public housing. I can't afford no thousand dollar tutor from Sylvan. But that's what he needs. A tutor. How is this tutor? Uh pretty good. Her son is in fourth grade at Johnston Square Elementary. For years, she says she's been trying to get the school system to hold her son back, give him time to learn the material, instead of just pushing him through the grades. Five months ago, in October, she even wrote Project Baltimore asking for help, saying her son is not getting the education he needs. He can't read. He's in the fourth grade. He can't read and he's in the fourth grade. Now, she he, shouldn't even show her face on television. <laughs> he's in the fourth grade and he can't read. My mom taught all of us kids how to read before we even got to school. Got to for school. Real. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, man. I feel for her, though, because you could tell she does give a fuck. But damn, man. She you know, does. She cares, but he, she cares too like late. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. You know, the second she said I'm in the uh, the government housing shit, it was just like, damn, like, there it goes, man. The broken system is just a steady fucking circle, man. Wow, they just, yeah, they just gave me a strike on my living room gangster channel on, um, with uh, Op Nation Productions now. Sir, on you right. Did they tell you why? I got to look at it. The video looks like it might be three or four years old. And I'm like, what the fuck? They keep doing this shit. That video. Ah, oh, man. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep, keep going. I, I'll, I'll check it out. It's crazy. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say by the time the kids get to fourth grade, they've already determined that whether they're going to be successful educationally is determined at that point. If they're not on level by the fourth grade, and even in a lot of instances by the third grade, it's already too late. They will never catch up. So this yeah. is this is this is this is a wrap. Just like all of our parents, I mean, uh, you know, moms and dads, uh, you know, read to us as babies. I don't believe she did that, bro. And I think mm -hmm. the reason why she's crying and she's so upset now is that she feels guilty. I agree with you 100%. Bro. And then a lot of these people don't realize uh, your local library have a lot of these free services. There are books, I mean, myself included. I get books from the library, math books, math textbooks, reading books, all kinds of things. There's so many, and even online, there's so many free things that are available. It makes no sense that anybody is falling behind. Yeah. You're absolutely right. This is crazy, man. Like, are you serious? Like, um, oh, for I, I, I actually feel bad for this woman. I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, I mean, I don't. <laughs> you remember the meme on from Facebook that showed the nerdy dude getting dissed by the baddie that was running off with the shirtless thug with the gold chain? Mm -hmm. This is that girl. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't even think she can read and, and write and perform on a fourth grade level. Because my thing about it is a parent, you have expectations of your kids. And I mean, you look at her, she's in, like she said, she's in government housing. I mean, does she work? What are her skills? A lot of these parents, they, their kids are falling behind because they're behind as well. You know, it's just, it's, it's a loose situation. It's just, yeah. Bad. She it's was bad. probably born into that shit. And now her kids are born into that shit. And if they don't get their shit together, their kids are going to be born into that shit. That shit is crazy. I literally cannot believe I just, I'm sorry, y'all. I just got a strike on a video from three to four years ago. Relationship talk, news, and YouTube gossip. That's the name of the video. That's how, yeah, I don't even name my videos that shit like that anymore. That's how long ago this video was from. 
in all these videos on this channel on Mark Brown. I, I, made, I made everything private because I remember I turned this into my music channel. So I privated all the videos except the video, my music videos. So everything on this channel is private except for those two videos, um, Peggy Sue and um, Put a Little Twang on it. Those are the only two videos that are live on this channel. They gave me a fucking strike just now on a video from at least three or four years ago. It's probably the algorithm. I think the algorithm is always running, man. It's always <laughs> running and it's going through because, you know, they're going back in time and they're trying to get people on. Well, then how come everybody else don't get fucking strikes like this? Well, you know that you know that the algorithm is aimed in a certain direction, man. Come on. But this this shit is crazy, but um hats eleven says if Jamal has a hundred K bond and the bail bondsman needs ten percent, how much money does Jamal owe the bail bondsman? Um five thousand dollars. Right? Right? Those are the kind of questions that need to be on them tests. <laughs> Am I right? I mean I mean 10 percent 10k i'll take your 10 oh that's, shit that's i got the it wrong damn the 10K, 2000, but that's not what you would, what? <laughs> you would owe the bail bondsman more than that wouldn't you <laughs> i'll be i'll be your tutor i'll be your tutor rock and your personal trainer oh you're gonna be my tutor man that's what's up man thank you yeah man. we'll, we'll, we'll get you below, we'll get you below 300 pounds oh, okay okay man. push-ups in the elevator yeah, yeah, we can work out the elevator, man. Yeah, we'll we'll lay the textbooks on the ground, and then you can do push-ups and read while you're doing push-ups. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yeah, and I can, and I can I can work on my boxing skills with the Congress Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, that's great, man. Um, but yeah, so yeah, man. See, I'm no better. I'm talking shit about these damn students in Baltimore, and I got that one wrong too. Jesus Christ, no better. So again, my question is: If Jamal's bond is a hundred k, he only have to pay ten. He only have to produce ten percent of. That. I got it. Is eight eight thousand? No. Right? No. Okay. I don't think so. Again, I'm trying to talk it out because I'm I'm a sun man. <laughs> well. You know what, man? Maybe it is DNA, man. Because I, I, I don't even. I'm. I'm not but hold on. I mean, again, let's just let's just walk through it. So, hundred uh, k, but you only owe ten percent on the hundred k. Okay, you can get out on the ten percent. So that's ten k. So you you only need you only need ten thousand, right? Mm -hmm. So the bail bondsman is gonna give you the ten thousand. But you're then, forgetting court costs. Right. I knew there was other cost. I was Lawyer like, it's not that easy. Taxes. Nah, but just on the bond, just on the straight transaction of the bond. It's 10K, man. I, no, I think it might be a thousand. No, it's 10K. Move your decimal. No, nah, I mean, yeah. but you would only need, but it's irrelevant that the bond is 100K because you're only paying 10% of that. So 10% yeah. of that is 10,000. Right. I think I think AP. Um, I think you're showing your um, you're showing your privilege, man. I think he's uh, getting out for free next week. Yeah, man. Exactly. <laughs> Regardless, he gonna, gonna get PR'd, man. Yeah, man. We'll do, you know, we'll, we'll do basic percentages and fractions next show. <laughs> people, people in the chat think I'm serious too. That's the crazy spot. Like these, right? Like, like this, this like it's so fucking weird <laughs> like like really like nah not really man I one dollar the price is I right that fucking stupid man if i was that fucking stupid man how the fuck would i do this show man <laughs> oh you could be but a total math dummy and still be uh proficient at other not things. that dumb not know what 10 percent of a hundred thousand is you got you got you, you, there's a certain level of fucking yes now if you get listen pre algebra i'm fine algebra one i start having problems to get silly <laughs> but 
But algebra two, no. But God yeah, damn, why? Why are we putting letters in this shit now? Yeah, but goddamn, ten percent or something. Now, if you if they would have said eleven point five percent of two hundred and fifty thousand. And if I'd you gave me a pen and paper, I could work that out. That's I do it in that's my okay. So you're talking about what? What are we talking about? Twenty, uh, uh, twenty-three. Then we talk about uh, five, uh, seven, five, twenty-three, five point seven five. About twenty-eight point seven five. Is it twenty-eight point seven five? Eleven point five percent of twenty two hundred fifty thousand. I don't know, but anyway, You're the only one trying to do math right now, bro. Yeah, but but anyway, like I I could figure out some shit, but but. Like, once you start getting like into like calculus and shit, that's when I get fucked up. But I ain't that fucking stupid. People hey, I, great, man. I bet you one of them two thousand kids is an up and coming YouTube content creator, though. Oh, and and oh, out of those two thousand kids, they have two hundred rappers. Oh I shit! I promise you, there's two hundred rappers in that group. How many? How many you think are gonna be drill rappers? Two hundred. I think. I think literally two hundred, man. Two hundred. Two hundred rappers out of that group, man. We got ten percent of them are going to end up shooting each other. Yeah, how, how many of those two thousand are going to be shooters? I can't read. Baltimore City is facing a uh, devastating reality. Uh, as then Watkins saw this Project Baltimore story Monday night, confirming what she already knew. When I seen the name Johnson Square on there, I knew what what I was doing and what I was saying was absolutely correct. Project Baltimore combed through the 2022 state test results known as MCAP, Maryland Comprehensive Assessment Program. Every Maryland student is tested in third through eighth grade and once again in high school in both math and English. Scores place the students in one of four levels. Levels one and two are considered not proficient. Three and four are proficient. We found in 23 Baltimore City schools, there were zero students who tested proficient in math. Not a single student. And on that list, Johnston Square. I wasn't surprised. It needs to be something done today. Yeah, it get a whole lot of money. And it's coming out my check, I see. Baltimore City funds nearly 20% of city schools. This year, that amount hit $309 million. So Project Baltimore sent an email to every city council member and Mayor Brandon Scott. We asked, who do you hold accountable for these concerning test results? What steps will you take as an elected leader to address these low scores and improve student outcomes? And will you ask for further investigation to determine why so many schools have so few students proficient in math? Councilman Eric Costello quickly replied, saying he was dismayed by our findings, adding, this is not the performance that we expect for Baltimore's children. Costello also explained that city council has virtually no control over the schools, saying the council can do very little when it comes to school performance and can't even withhold funds. That we invest in them now. As for the mayor, we didn't receive a reply. As a mother of children who go to one of these 23 schools, do you want to hear from the mayor? Um, no, not really. School I mean, superintendent. What is he going to say? What is he going to do? But make a whole bunch of promises that he's not going to fulfill. So I just feel like that's pointless. I need somebody that's going to do something. City schools also declined an interview to discuss these 23 schools, but explained in a statement the steps is taking to improve math scores, including professional development for teachers, summer learning, and an extended learning period at the end of the day. The district said it's confident these steps will work. Watkins is not. I have a black son that got to grow up in Baltimore City. That's why. That's why I'm so emotional. That means in Baltimore City, you having a black child, a male child, like that is only two ways out. You're either going to be dead or locked up. Damn, that boy in the fourth grade and can't read, man. 
shit. Man. Fuck. Salute to Deluxe 247, a.k.a. Kyra, a.k.a. the real MVP, man. Coming through once again. When you when you when you're in the fourth grade, you can't read, man. That's like I can't remember not being able to read. That's how long like long ago it was. I think I might have been like four. And, and I get it. My mom is, is an author and whatnot. I get it and a teacher. I get that. But I don't my friends knew how to read. There was nobody in the first grade of my school that didn't know how to fucking read. Right. Even the nervous kids that stuttered and shit when they read out loud, they still knew how to read. Exactly. They knew they, they just couldn't read out loud or probably right. they, they could read to themselves. They knew what the fuck the words, the letters and shit. Sad man, it's fucked up, and this is happening all over the country. If Not this the, bad. If he's in the fourth grade and he can't read, and nobody at his school can read at their grade level, statistics say that he will end up in a penitentiary. Yeah, exactly. This is your prison pipeline. This is what is a pipeline from your schools to prison, man. And listen, man, I had, when I went in first grade, man, Jesse LaSalle, elementary school, right on Riggs, Riggs Road. Those kids, many of those kids grew up to be fucking shooters. A lot of them grew up to be jailbirds. And hoochie mamas and shit and bonnet wearing baby mamas and shit. But they could fucking read by first grade, man. This is a this is Baltimore's different than DC, man. Baltimore's way different than DC, man. It it just it, it, we ain't like that in DC, man. We we can read, man. We can read, man. We can read in Kentucky. Man, there's yeah. some different shit, man. Over here in Detroit, you know, these motherfuckers can read their asses off. There's some, there's some, there's some unique shit right here, man. That's why we probably don't see this any because this, I don't, I don't see stories like this bad, the idiot with New Wells. Because even the last time when it was 13 schools, that was being, that was a national story, and that was the same city. Now it's 23 schools. And I don't want that for my son. Do you think you still need a tutor? Watkins told Project Baltimore she has no hope the school system will ever improve. I want to see hope. I really do. Her plan is to continue working and save money. As soon as she can afford it, she says she's leaving the city. Yeah. That is the plan. That's the, that's as the soon as she can afford it. She's never leaving the city. They never. Got to see. They got to grow up. They got to be able to go to the grocery store. They got to be able to afford bills, a roof. They got to survive. I'm not going to always be here. When I close my eyes, then what? And you don't think your son's getting the education he needs to survive? Absolutely. He's not. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore. Is he dancing? Well, Fox 45 News has been pressing yeah, leaders in both <laughs> Baltimore and Annapolis about who's at fault and how they're planning to remedy the situation. Mackenzie Frost has the responses, including some pushing back on Fox 45 News coverage of these serious issues in city schools. We went from City Hall to the halls here in Annapolis, and some leaders representing Baltimore City simply don't want to talk about some of the students who are failing in the classroom. Now, I'm told an oversight hearing will be held in Baltimore City to demand answers from the leaders of city schools. The data shows 2,000 students in Baltimore City Public Schools are not proficient in math. From elementary through high school, these students in 23 schools across Baltimore are falling behind. Fox 45's Project Baltimore sending questions to the city council, asking them about the test scores and the families impacted. Wednesday, 
I am aware of that report. We asked members in person about the glaring gaps in success. Should he hold an oversight hearing with the CEO of City Schools to talk about these failing kids? Uh, yeah, I definitely think it's it's worthwhile. I think it's important for us to understand what's going on. Um, that's the only way for us to actually make any change here. Others inside City Hall, where the council provides oversight and has a hand in the budget. Yeah, he just process, said absolutely not nothing about the problems. My colleague sent an email about the 23 schools in the city who have zero students who are proficient in math. Yeah, sorry, I'm not talking to any Sinclair affiliate. That's the end of that. You don't have any concerns about these failing schools? No, I don't students? have any interest in talking to anybody from any Sinclair broadcast group Why affiliate. Why is that? I, I'm not going to talk about it. We traveled to Annapolis, seeking out leaders from Baltimore City, demanding answers from the chair of the House Education Subcommittee. I just needed to ask you about the 23 schools that have zero students who are from Delegate Stephanie Smith. Who do you hold accountable for that? Walking into the committee room instead of answering. Delegate this is disturbing, man. <laughs> so, so these people are behaving that like uh, this, 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 this news station is the um, the problem. They're the, the problem. Yeah, they're, they're the Fox News of their little ecosystem. Yeah, you know exactly. So, like we don't, we're not talking. We don't mess with you. Because and they're you just cover, using it as an excuse. But if if you if you if you're covering doing stories like this, yeah, they not yeah. I can see that them not liking it, but. This is disturbing. You least answer. The, you give a fake care. You fake like you care for public appearances. We all know about optics. You just pretend like you care. And you say the right mumble jumbo bullshit saying nothing. And then you move on. You don't just like fuck off. Like tell the reporters the fuck when to ask you this type of question that's so important, man. We also found delegates Sandy Rosenberg and Robin Lewis questioning them about the failures of schools as well. I sent you an email about the 23 schools in Baltimore City who have zero students who are proficient when in math. When you do a, score, a school story about something succeeding in the schools, I'll respond. You never do. Damn. Look at how you talk to that woman. Yeah, they fucked. Because if you, that, if that, you ain't supposed to, to a woman, he look at the way he talked to that woman. You know what I'm saying? Like. He would be like me too, yeah. like shit. If if she was a liberal, if she was on the right side of whatever liberal shit, mm -hmm. he he just gets to put his finger all up in this woman's face, the raise his voice at her. City who yeah, zero students who are proficient when in math. You do a score a school story about something succeeding in the schools. I'll respond. You never do. So, who do you hold accountable well, for? Twenty three schools don't have any students proficient in math. What the fuck is she? What the fuck are they supposed to, to I'm, talk I'm, about? I'm still more baffled at how he just behaved. Yeah, like this woman has no respect, man, because she's this is probably a conservative channel. If they're doing this type shit, they probably definitely like you said, they're the Fox News of their little area, and she's not a woman. She doesn't have. She doesn't get the. It's just like Candace Owens. Candace Owens doesn't get the protection that sisters get. You know what I'm saying? You would say anything about Candace Owens. Thanks. Baltimore City, who have zero students who are proficient when in math. You do a score a school story about something succeeding in the schools. I'll respond. You never do. So, who do you hold accountable for the failing? Your boss. Your bosses. For the distorted coverage you provide. Well, the data bosses. came from Baltimore City Public Schools. Not answering the questions about accountability, including about what's going on in their city. Questions sent to the entire city delegation, both House and Senate members, asking, who do you hold accountable for these test results? What steps will you take to address these low test scores and improve student outcomes? Will you ask for further investigations to determine why this many schools have so few students proficient in math? Why will millions of more dollars be allocated to city schools given these proficiency scores? Senator Corey McRae and delegates Jackie Addison and Caleb Young telling Fox 45 News it's everyone who should be accountable for student achievement, adding, it is crucial to comprehend the root causes of the low proficiency scores in these schools, all to find solutions moving forward. Senator Antonio Hayes' office telling Fox 45 he wasn't available today.
no one else responding. Right now, City Schools has a budget of $1.6 billion. That's roughly $21,000 per student. City Schools spending the top five for large school districts across the country. Meanwhile, so they're in the top five for all the large school districts in the country. So that money, they're getting, they getting, they, they, they top five. They're embezzling. They're, they're, I'm telling you, they're as, these people are, are as corrupt as the day is long. I get it. Now, what part of DNA? I got to ask. I got to do a poll, man. Let me do a poll, man. Pause. Um, did you hear? Did you see the Sun Man basketball player say no homo the other day, Stunner? <laughs> I did. <Yeah. laughs> can't I'm do like, that, come dude. on, man. We, we, yeah, you can't do that, bro. Yeah, come on. Man, like that was a layup, man. You talk about no homo and shit. It ain't fucking nineteen ninety five, but he said that shit. I was like, Jesus Christ. I, like, come on, man. You you asking to get? They find him forty thousand dollars too. Of course. Yeah. Like fucking um. Yeah, man. Uh He should have just said no, Nico. Doc, that's exactly what I was thinking, man. Yeah, man. Um, anybody got any thoughts on this, man? I think all this money is being embezzled. I think all these mayors they've had this, that have gone to jail and been indicted and all that shit. I think that a lot of these people are involved in this, not just those individuals. And it's obviously a Democrat um um, breeding ground or training ground for politicians they're about to launch into state and national politics. I mean, shit, man. Um, <laughs> they do not care about those kids. Hell no, they don't. They know they're a lost cause. They know they're a lost cause. That's why they don't even want to discuss it. They're like, well, who cares? It's a lost cause. We, we have other things going on. Get out of my face. Yeah, like, so 21000 per student. Yeah, like, yeah, you can send the kid to a nice private school and um, it, it, nice send the kid to a nice private school for 21000 Again. Per student, city schools spending the top five for large school districts across the country. Meanwhile, classrooms across the state are set to get an additional $30 billion over the next decade from the Kerwin Education Plan. Is sending more money to the school districts through the Kerwin Plan, will that help this problem? Unfortunately, I don't. I think no is the answer to that. Every single time the response is we need more money. Never we need more accountability. Republican Delegate Nino Mangione from Baltimore County says leadership in the city cannot turn a blind eye to this problem. It's really, truly uh, a dereliction of duty. At some point, the answer has to be, you know what, we need to get rid of people who are not getting the job done, have a real systemic change to what's actually happening. A call for change that may go unanswered, as the failures highlighted now are added to the laundry list of problems in students struggling to learn in classrooms across Baltimore City. Councilman Stokes says he hasn't scheduled a date for that hearing yet, and that's something he's looking to do in the coming days. But will that hearing bring real changes? That's a question we've yet to see answered. Nope. In Annapolis, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News. If you have concerns about education and you want your local representatives in Annapolis to address it, scan the QR code on your screen. It'll take you directly to our website, which lists their official email and phone numbers. Now, this isn't the first time that Councilman Ryan Dorsey has dismissed Fox 45 News. In 2020, Fox 45 News reached out to the councilman asking about his tweet, calling for the city's police memorial to be removed. He responded saying no comment for Sinclair Broadcast Group. A year before that, he told Sinclair to, quote, drop dead in response to a question. Well, Fox 45 Morning News, we spoke with Pastor P.M. Smith, who opened... Fox in Baltimore's Hope Academy 25 years ago. He says the school system is failing taxpayers. There's 77,000 students in the Baltimore school system. Their budget is 1.6 billion. They are failing our future. We're not getting our money's worth. And as a taxpayer, I'm outraged. 
And while 23 Baltimore City Schools had zero students proficient in math, the city school CEO, Dr. Sonia Santelisis, is being honored for her accomplishments. In the Sunday edition. <laughs> The superintendent's being honored. So. Honored for her accomplishments. <laughs> uh, and, and of course, his sister. Jesus Christ, man. Salute to Charles S., man, and, and, and Gil B., man. Salute to Gil, Gil and Charles, man. Salute to you guys, man. You um, know what, Art? What? That, that, that preacher, you know, he's going to be at the pulpit in a couple of years uh, telling everybody to vote for this chick again. Yeah, we, we saw him in another documentary about Baltimore. He was in another one, man. He's a um, lifelong Baltimorean, man. Um, but yeah, man, this is this is crazy. Our sister gets honored. She gets honored. How did you stand on? How did she get up on stage and accept it and give an acceptance speech? Now you gotta be fucking. You gotta have balls, of kahunas, man. Age. And while 23 Baltimore City Schools had zero students proficient in math, the city school CEO, Dr. Sonia Santelisis, is being honored for her accomplishments. In the Sunday edition of the Baltimore Sun, Dr. Santelisis was named one of the 25 black Marylanders to watch in 2023. <laughs> 25 black Marylanders to watch in 2023. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> Did you hear me when I said, did you hear me when I just said they are using this area as a breeding ground slash training ground for politicians that they are going to launch into the future? Yeah, that governor is going to run for president when they did new black yes. governor they got. Yes, yeah. it's only a matter of time. Yeah. And all of these people are failing upwards was praised for her accomplishments over the past six years. The article pointed to a bright spot this fall when federal test scores known as NAEP showed city schools had performed better in several areas compared to the rest of Maryland. For example, eighth grade reading scores held steady from before the pandemic. But the article did not- Eighth grade reading scores held steady from before the pandemic. That doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't tell you if the scores were bad before the pandemic, which we know they were. It doesn't tell you that it, they held steady. It doesn't mean the, held steady doesn't mean they improved. It could mean, or they only dropped. They only they didn't drop as much as we thought they would. You know, I mean, like she's getting praised because eighth grade. They think about how they had to sift through all this shit to find something to praise her for. Eighth grade reading scores held steady since before the pandemic. And this sister gets a parade throw for that. <laughs> Eighth grade reading scores held steady. So it was 244 in 2019 and now it's 239. Another one was so that so, so basically, so 226 in 2019, now it's 222. So it went down eight. So it didn't go down. It, so it didn't go down. She didn't, she didn't fuck it up too bad with the eighth graders in the reading. The eighth grade readers didn't fuck up too bad. Fuck the first through seventh and ninth through twelfth in math, science. <laughs> it's still <laughs> it's still an accomplishment to fail though. Let's just go down. Isolate the eighth grade reading scores. Those only went down eight. That's the best. So obviously that means that this is the brightest spot. This is the best they have. And she gets a parade thrown for it. She's probably going to be a, get a promotion. Oh, she's definitely getting a promotion, right, Stunner? She's definitely getting a promotion. We'll see her in what? Baltimore? So, Baltimore, we'll see her in fucking LA next, next time. Yeah, yeah. You'll, see her, you'll see her as somebody vice president candidate in about eight years, motherfucker. 
Oh, my fucking God. Wow. Showed city schools had performed better in several areas compared to the rest of Maryland. For example, eighth grade reading scores held steady from before the pandemic. But the article did not explain that, according to NAEP, Baltimore is now 21 points below the national average for large cities. It's an all time low for the city since national testing began 13. So hold on. So take the eighth grade reading scores only dropping a little bit since before the pandemic out. Listen to this last statement though. Showed city schools had performed better in several areas compared to the rest of Maryland. For example, eighth grade reading scores held steady from before the pandemic. But the article did not explain that according to NAEP, Baltimore is now 21 points below the national average for large cities. It's an all time low for the city since national testing began 13 years ago. In all time, no. <laughs> and they are celebrating her accomplishments. It's fucking classic, man. In all time, low. Wow. I mean, I be trying to come up with witty shit, but they take my breath away, man. I can't even come up with nothing. Now this shit leaves me dumbfounded. <laughs> <laughs> right. And it's like she she gets to run around and talk about how as a black woman I gotta work twice as hard. And there's not enough opportunities for black women. And black women and black women, oh woe is us. And play the violin for black women all day. And she's getting a parade for having the worst all-time test scores. Good the job. worst, the worst <laughs> of all time. <laughs> She's the Muhammad Ali of failing at her job. The world's greatest. We gotta play that R. Kelly for her, man. Right. The teachers are make work jobs for middle class white women and black women. Yeah, I mean, this is just all of them woke and ridiculous. Doug Chunk says it's hard for them to call their education system racist when the libs have been in charge of that city's education for decades. Yeah. It's just, it's just, you know what? You could have sent those kids to the Amish, and they at least would have known how to build a house. Yeah, exactly. And read, and read a tape measure. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Work together, too. They learn how to work, put a fucking horseshoe on a horse. They'd have fucking known how to... Yeah, they'd have, they'd, they'd have known a lot of shit. This is, this is bizarre, though, man. Like, you know, it's just make work jobs. If this like, was... Because white girls go to college for four years, learn some BS, and they make a work job. Sisters go to college, get an education degree, get a teaching job, get some BS. It's just the system. It's make work jobs. They wouldn't. They'd be secretaries, or because education is like the lowest degree besides like communications. Like they give that to football players. You play yeah. football or basketball. Oh, here, get a communication degree. Yeah, sports management, something like that, yeah. Dr. Santalisis, who was quoted in the Baltimore Sun article, did not agree to an interview with Project Baltimore when we reported those scores back in November. During a family and community forum with the City Board of School Commissioners, some parents we spoke with had a different view of Dr. Santalisis than the Baltimore Sun. I have no confidence in Dr. Santalisa because where is she? We have a CEO who is in charge of these schools and as well as the school board. And I know complaints have been sent to them and they need to hold themselves accountable. She needs to go. Yes. Fox 45's Jeff Abel pressed school commissioners about the report. He joins us live now with their response and frustration from parents. Jeff. That's right. Many parents at Edmonton Westside High School were fuming tonight after learning that one out of 225 students tested there were proficient in math. Oh, so this school right here has one. 
So they're not one of the 23 schools. <laughs> think about this. Think about this, y'all. How many of y'all knew? Hit one if you thought that the schools that weren't on the list would have one. See, I, what I was thinking, <laughs> I, I, I was thinking more like, okay, all the, the terrible, these schools are just terrible. They got all the bad students. And the other schools are like more normal. You know what I'm saying? But the school that didn't make the 23, they have one. So think about if that one kid didn't pass that test, it would be 24 schools without any student proficiency. That one kid saved that school from being on this list. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, it's like basically all of it's It's all of the schools, man. Come on, man. If you told anybody that you knew this information without them seeing it like this, they would never believe you, man. They yeah, would say exactly. that you was exaggerating and that there's no way you're that what you're saying is true. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you're a white person and you go tell this in mixed company, people are going to call you a fucking racist. What do you mean, none? You, you're 22. You're lying. You 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 have ulterior motives. You're just trying to make black people look bad. Yeah, no one would believe that. No fuck no. That's right. Many parents at Edmonton Westside High School were fuming tonight after learning that one out of 225 students tested there were proficient in math. Some of our kids are afraid you guys to go to school. At Edmondson Westside High School, parents were reduced to tears over the state of the city schools. But our kids are dying and they are afraid to go to school, period. In and then you have that shit too. The fact that there's shootings all the time in and around the schools. We have that too. That's a different train on a different track. My God. Afraid to go to school, period. In fact, recent state test scores appear to agree. Of the 225 students here at Edmondson Westside who recently completed state tests, just one of them was proficient in math. That is very, very concerned. Terrible. Horrible. And our kids are not caught up, but we're passing them. We're passing them, but they can't read. At a forum. <laughs> That's the second time we've heard this shit. They can't read. They can't read. They can't do math, and they can't read. What can they do? Because science is a, is, is a, is a... You know what they can do? You know what they can do? I know a 50-round clip in like 10 seconds. And hit nobody. Let me look at this poll, man. The poll pause. Let me see. Let me see what this poll says, man. So I said, what do you attribute the low test scores in Baltimore to? We got 47% say bad parenting and 32% say DNA. I'm a DNA guy, but this has to be DNA, man. This has to be DNA. Some of these parents are good, man. Listen, out of 2,000 kids at just the schools where no one passed, you mean to tell me that all 2,000 of those kids got bad parents? I don't believe it. And you know, I'm, I am I rail on Sunderstand, but I'm from Sunderstand, and I know there's a lot of kids that got good parents. At least 500 of those fucking kid, 2,000 kids got good parents. Yeah, you know, that's not a lot. It's still 500 of them kids got good parents. At least so, 500. The only thing about DNA, though, man, is their parents can read, though, man. Yeah, that's crazy, too. But think about it. If you you can read and your kid can't read, that's DNA, too. What kind of person doesn't can read but their kid can't read? 
You got a valid point there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, like, like, listen, not for nothing. My daughter's two, man. And she's and she's moving along real good, man. Um, symbols, numbers, she can count. This little girl can count already. One like we we work with her and we watch programs and we read books and shit. And she's extremely smart. She can sing songs. She knows what everything like. There's no way. Listen. These people's kids can't read to the point where people at the school are saying it on camera. I wouldn't listen, man. I wouldn't say that, man. I would be like, these kids have problems identifying symbols and linking them together in pattern terminologies leading to vocal characters. I would say some fucking meandering word salad. These motherfuckers, man, these kids can't read. <laughs> I was going to say, you supposed to serve up some, some word salad with some blue cheese? Yeah, I would, because I would feel uncomfortable just come on, saying, man, these kids can't read, man. Students here at Edmondson Westside who recently completed state tests, just one of them was proficient in math. That is very, very concerning. Terrible. Horrible. And our kids are not caught up, but we're passing them. We're passing them, but they can't read. At a forum with school commissioners tonight, school officials told parents that many students are still struggling to catch up from learning loss during the pandemic. Students suffered during the pandemic, especially in math. So my question is, what are we doing? So we invested millions of dollars in tutoring um, we've given out devices. We introduced small group learning. I represent the Black Church of Baltimore. We're acting right now. Now, I like that. That, how can you not be as mad as this guy? No, he should be mad, but he's a problem too because he ain't teaching nobody to read that Bible either. Exactly. Right. They can't read the Bible. These kids can't read the Bible. That's probably fucking his game up too, man, because he need new congregants. He need a new generation of congregants to put money in that collection plate. But it's like all of them should be like this. There should be nobody in here. When you got 225 students taking a test and only one passes. And you're one of the good schools. Because the other schools, no one passes. You got to... He's the first person we've seen that was pissed. Devices. We introduced small group learning. I represent the Black Church of Baltimore. We're acting right now. I know COVID had um, an impact on the academics of kids across Baltimore City and across the state, across the entire country. However, there were problems in Baltimore City schools far beyond um, the you know, you. two years or three years yep. we had of COVID. Some parents blame the Common Core curriculum. Others blame the school's top administrator. But we have a CEO who is in charge of these schools. Do you still have confidence in the CEO? Uh, I do. Um, I, I mean, I think that it's, you know, maybe easy to point fingers at one individual person. Um, I've sent her email after email. I've sent her letter after letter. I have no confidence in Dr. Santalisa because where is she? She's not even here. We have to do something, you guys. They're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. Yeah, I mean, you got to, this is a. The fact that she was not even at that meeting says a lot. Yeah. This is strange. This is a bizarre place, man. Um, This is bizarre. When, I got to rewatch The Wire from this, you know, from this perspective. This makes me want to rewatch The Wire. Because remember that season where they had the kids? The whole season was based on the kids? Yeah, at school and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I want to rewatch that season, man, because that was 2005, right? Or 2006, right? The wire came out. And they're saying that, you know, this is because of the pandemic. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, man. This is yeah, Dookie in them. Yeah, exactly, man. This hey, is, when Dookie came back and, and got that money from the teacher so he could go get high, that shit broke my heart, bro. Yeah. What was that teacher, Mr. Polinski? What was that 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 what well, used to be a cop? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Oh man, but listen, man. This is I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta um I gotta rewatch the wire, man, because this is a strange I I need more understanding on Baltimore. I'm not even though I'm from I'm from DC, Baltimore's like a million miles away, man. You just it's a whole different city, man. These people are strange, man. Like, I mean, DC schools are not great at all. But my God, to just have this different, what we're talking about 45 miles away, man. That place is 45 miles away. You could ride up there, you could you could listen to fucking Illmatic and be up there by the time the fucking album was over, man. Like literally, you could that 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 place is forty five minutes away, man. And it's just a completely, completely different world, man. And I know we got federal, the feds run our stuff because even even though we have mayor, the federal government does our budget and we got a lot of federal oversight because of what we're the District of Columbia and shit like that. Maybe that has something to do with it. But this place is just strange, man. My God. If we don't do something now. Well, this was just one in a string of forums school commissioners are beginning to hold across the city. We're live tonight, Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. Jeff, thank you. Well, this report is just the latest problem Project Baltimore has reported on. In 2021, they discovered so-called ghost students and grade changing at Augusta Fell Savage High School, which is one of the 23 schools with zero students scoring proficient on the state math test. Last summer, Project Baltimore heard from five families who say their children with disabilities were forced to miss significant amounts of class, but their report card showed fake grades and attendance. Despite those problems, Dr. Santelisa's salary is rising. She earns a base salary of more than $300,000 a year. Project Baltimore found with the perks in her contract, it is up to 445. <laughs> she makes more than the president. Yo, she makes more than a guy on the end of the bench in the fucking NBA, man. Like, listen, man, this guy yep. in the NBA don't make this much money. Like, yep. she, bro, makes more, she makes more than league minimum. Yeah, the scrubbiest of the scrubs in the NBA don't make this much. Four hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. Refunds. What the fuck, sisters? I need some sisters, man. I, I got. I'm. I gotta get some water. But when I come back, I want to see some sisters in the queue waiting, man, to come up here, man, and explain it. I'm calling sisters to the carpet, man. I'm calling sisters to the carpet. Sisters, you got to explain this, man. Y'all got some explaining to do, sisters, man. Because I can tell you one thing. Baltimore City School, 80% of the teachers are, are black women or white women. They probably got 10 male teachers 10 Sun Man teachers in the whole Baltimore school system. <laughs> I, I shit you not. They probably got 10. Listen, man. Sisters, man. Come up to fitness or or tell us what tell us explain it away, man. I just need to I need to hear from sisters, man. Um please, man. I'm going for water and weed too. Everybody, make sure you hit the cash app, super chat, sisters. Please come up here and holler at us.
my man, your name is Bill, right? Yeah. Is it snowing there tonight? No, not tonight. It's uh, still above zero, though, so that's that's a win. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, this win has been a uh, pretty rough one compared to the last 15 or 20. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we've had uh, more snow this year than since the 80s. I mean, uh, I remember, you know how big a shop is, right? That ha that uh, semi-trucks park in? Yeah. Well, I remember snowmobiling on the roof of Wayne Robinette's shop. Uh, in 1988. And it's like that again, or it's it's worse than that. Yeah, it's worse than that this year. Wow. Like uh, my back porch is almost seeable. Like you can distinguish it as a porch now instead of just a big white blob. Right. I haven't been able to open my back door in two months. Wow. Yeah, I was uh, speaking with some people from the, the Detroit area, and they were saying it's been a pretty, not an outrageous winter, but, you know, it's it's winter for sure. It's been warm up here for winter. Exactly. Yeah, we've uh, we get most of our snow in the springtime normally, and uh, if we get our normal amount this year, that we because we've already we're already I think six or seven feet above what we are in a normal year. So, so if we get a norm, our normal snowpack, um, if it gets warm too quick, it's going to flood. Yeah. But remind but, uh, me, you're, got, in, you're, in, you're in Wyoming? Yeah. So Here's the view out my backyard. Yeah, I've let got, me see. Wow. There's my roof. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Got some snow on it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. And then there's the porch. You can see it's kind of a porch. Yeah. Still about two and a half feet of snow on it. And it's uh, it's 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 like zero degrees. We we lost your sound, Bill. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the thermometer says, I think, three degrees positive. Man, you lucky, man. But we did get in the mid-30s last few days in the sunshine. Let me ask you this one last question. So your, your area where you live at, it's a very high-trust society? Yeah. Like I, uh, I still have a bad habit of leaving my keys in the car. Yeah, I figured. Because <clears throat> I, uh, you know, we moved in from out of town five years ago, and uh, yeah, I just always left the keys and everything. Wow. I figured. I figured. Like yeah, there's man. a. I've got a box that's been on my front step. You know how you got them porch pirates where you guys are? <laughs> yeah. I've had a box in my front yard for three weeks. <laughs>
<laughs> that I need to bring inside. Wow. Yeah, no porch but, uh, privacy. Yeah, it's frozen uh, meat, so it's just sitting in ice. I mean, <laughs> a little different world. Little different. Five thousand. Well, that brings us to our question of the day: Do you trust Dr. Santalisas to lead Baltimore City Schools? So far, ninety-six percent of voters say no. Head to foxbaltimore.com slash vote and click on the Project Baltimore tab to weigh in. Audio's popping. Baltimore City Schools, a high-performing Baltimore City Charter School, is in danger. You say it's popping now? Yeah. Oh, shit. How'd that happen? Wow. Let me just move. Well, that brings us to our let question me, of the day. Do you? Let me just move on, man. That, that, that's depressing, man. Give me another city, man. That's just depressing, man. How about New Mexico? Those prairie patels down there, they get pretty wild. <laughs> yeah, man. You have a whole lot of meth Americans in uh, uh, New Mexico. I, I like that meth Americans. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible, man. Mm. Farmington, Albuquerque, any of them. Mm. Santa Fe Police.